Good day everyone. Welcome again to another episode of the task training. And today, I will discuss to you the bookkeeping for social media business records. Why uh, bookkeeping for social bus uh, media business records? Because we are already in our new normal way of life. No? Halos lahat ng mga businesses natin are through the um, internet na. Kaya itong mga social media natin na uh, uh, mga kumikita online, no? so how do we uh, records, the business records, no? as a part of our compliance requirements with our records. Because if we want to look at yung mga uh, requirements natin sa bookkeeping, no? under regulations with us one, dun sa mga seminars natin, the government requires uh, records no? ng uh, mga transactions natin, business transactions natin, they should be recorded in our uh, boost of accounts to ascertain at any time of the year the, the correct taxes are being paid to the government. So, yun po yung pinaka main purpose ng bookkeeping as derived from revenue regulations with us one, which is the oldest bookkeeping rules in the Philippines, no? So, 1947 pa siya, but up to now, there are still provisions of that bookkeeping regulations na uh, enforced pa rin hanggang ngayon. Okay. So, ano-ano po itong mga uh, iba't ibang klase ng bookkeeping for social media? According to the U.S. National Archives and Records Administration, or NARA, although ako nag-subscribe ako, I am an associate uh, member of the ARMA, or Association of Record Managers and Administration, also based in U.S. No? According to NARA, yung, uh, may mga categories no, of uh, social media. And ano itong mga categories natin? Yung first is the web publishing. These are the platforms used to create, publish, and reuse content. No? Ano yung mga example ng web publishing? Ito yung microblogging, example, Twitter, blog, tapos yung mga blogs, no? WordPress or Blogger. Uh, and also, we have our social networking. Ito yung pinakamarami. Kaya nga, uh, diba the BR just recently launched yung campaign no against the social uh, media influencers natin and those who are earning a lot from the internet to pay the proper taxes due on their income no so sino sino ito mga social networking ito yung social networking tools facebook linkedin no social book uh, bookmarks uh, delicious digs Virtual words, worlds, second life, open sim. Yan ang mga example, no? And then we have crowdsourcing or social voting. Uh, example, ideal scale and uh, cordix. We have file sharing storage. Example na mga platforms uh, used to share files and host uh, content storage. For photo libraries, we have Flickr and Picasa. For Video sharing, we have YouTube and Vimeo. For storage, we have Google Docs and Drop and Oi. No? And we, for content management, we have SharePoint and Drupal. Okay, so additional uh, social media categories, it's growing. No? Kasi ang buhay natin nasa social media na. That's why yung mga categories of the social media keep on increasing. No? Kasi they are breaking out because of the demand. No? That's the way of life now. And uh, ito lang na experience ko, no? Because sanay ako sa yung face-to-face. -face. So ngayon lang naman to na uh, enforce fully yung uh, internet natin. Lahat. And then I attended mga seminars din na webinars as a requirement for accreditation as a CPA. Ang hirap. At saan dami-dami requirements na sayang bayad ko because I, I failed to make the proper evaluation no? and then the, the, the proper requirements in order to complete the webinar. So, sayang yung mga bayan. But, sabi ko, it's um, 
part of the experience. No, once na you are there, at alam mo na, hindi ka na mahihirapan. No? Um, ano tong mga other categories ngayon? We have content curation, just uh, like uh, example, BuzzFeed, Flipboard. For social and network, we have uh, examples of Onerut and Life Street. For social analytics, we have O. SM and then Bluefin. For social brand engagement, we have Social Vibe and My Likes. Actually, ito yung mga um, platform na dinidevelop na din, no? Ng mga tao. Social commerce uh, platforms, pavement. Example, social promotion platform. Example, Overpop, Sismic. Uh, we have social sco uh, scoring, Cloud, Empire, Avenue are the examples. Social search and browsing, we have Artvark, Topsy uh, as examples. And then social referral, the social referral, my friends, no? 500 friends and Curebit. So social media as an enterprise, the enterprise na social media, why? Because it is the medium of uh, business now. Consumer facing social networks manage and interact with the sub-networks of millions of public users. Yan ang kakaiba sa social media. Why? Because hindi mo controlled yung uh, audience mo, no? It, it can generate yung uh, pinablish mo. It can generate millions, no? It will reach out millions of people all over the world. Kaya nga, boundless na yung buhay natin because of this internet. So, uh, implementing tight security on types of mass uh, networks would show slow response time. Na, is, na experience ko yan sa um, yung requirements pag uh, computer is bookkeeping system. Na um, slow down yung system, lalo na kung meron kang ini-install na uh, archiving at saka yung nagre-record, no? ng mga activities mo, nagsuslow down siya. Inhibit the user experience and may not provide a sufficient level of security to warrant an investment. Sometimes, very risky talaga ang social media. No? Uh, enterprises social networking adapted by business and public uh, sector. No? Rapid rate. With the entry of generation Gmail, into the workforce, many of these initiatives take an experimental call image. No? Uh, although it is crucial to establish social media business objectives to define time limited matrix and to measure progress. Okay, so what are the key ways in which social media are different no? from email and instant messaging? Ano yung pagkakaiba no ng social media sa email at saka sa instant messaging? Social media offers some of the same functionality uh, like email and, and instant messaging. No? Yet, its architecture and underlying assumptions are quite different. Why? Kasi ang daming platforms na ginagamit mo. So for email and instant messaging and social media are ways to share content and collaborate. No? But social media also features user intersection abilities like Facebook or Retweet or Twitter. No? It brings attention to the content in the user's network and can be construed as an endorsement or rejection of content based on user opinions expressed and associated with content. So, kung baga dun sa tatlo, email, instant messaging, at saka social media, on, nasa uh, top nung dalawa na yun ang social media. But of course, there are uh, risks in social media also. And what is the biggest risk? This uh, social media daw is the wild west of collaboration and communication. Nasa social media na lahat. No? Uh, collaboration and communication of the world. Vulnerabilities, of course, vulnerable siya sa um, risk. Why? Because there are no set of rules that are being observed. Wala, wala ganun sa social media. 
no? Users are often unsure of who can see and what they have posted. So lahat, walang, walang pili, basta may access sa Facebook, lahat makakita uh, uh, ng post mo, especially kung public yan. So what are the two uh, greatest security, security threats in social media? Ano yung mga threat sa social media? Lack of social media policy. No? So, alam nyo kahit sa isang simpleng pamilya lang na tinapatakbo mo, kung walang uh, policy, walang set of rules, no? kahit napakasimpleng set of rules lang yan, sa pamilya, magulo pa rin. No? So, lack of social media policy. Uh, they may believe that uh, their email and communication policy will pretty much cover social media. And wala. Wala pang ganyan, no? Although, although kung uh, limbawa gumagamit ka ng platform na YouTube channel, may rules doon, doon sa mga uh, nagko-contribute ng content, no? sa, ano, especially may paid advertisement. May sariling uh, rules and regulations din ang YouTube, especially dun sa mga violation of rights ng uh, intangibles like yung mga patent copyrights no may policy na dyan ang uh, Google at saka nang kikip track nila kung ano yung mga copyrighted articles no? so aside from the threat no yung number one threat niya is the lack of social media policy and the second most powerful na threat are the employees no Kahit sa isang simpleng opisina lang, sino yung threat? The employees. Why? Ako, uh, experience ko talaga yun. Isang empleyado mo lang na uh, yung pinagkatiwalaan mo, tapos hindi ba naman pala ginagawa yung dapat gawin. It will uh, make a lot of um, perwisyo sa'yo. No? Kasi naranasan ko lang talaga eh. Na... Employees talaga ang napakalaking threat, no? At saka hindi lang yun. That's why na-conscious na ako because nakita ko yung mga threat sa sa YouTube, no? Yung kahit mag-asawa, nag-aaway dun sa kita ng kanilang YouTube channel, no? There are couples na nag-separate because of uh, the earnings Merong employer-employee relationship na nag-separate because of yung kita din sa channel, no? Yun yun yung ayaw kong mangyari sa akin. That's why dapat meron ka talagang very clear na policy, no? And then, hindi lang yun. Yung isa pang well-known din sa YouTube na uh, tinanggal lahat nung editor niya yung kanyang mga... Uh, laman ng kanyang YouTube channel. No? Kaya nga sabi ko, dapat every month, magpapalit ka talaga ng YouTube uh, ano mo, password. Kasi, these are just uh, risk na nakikita natin. And since you are aware of the risk, dapat mayroon ka din policies to implement to counter those risks. Eh, wala kang ginawa. Uh, kasalanan mo yun. No? So, what are the legal risks of social media post? Ano pa lang ito ha? Intro pa lang natin yun ito sa bookkeeping. Okay? So, what are the le legal risks of social media post? We are trying to uh, view or we are, we are trying to understand ano ba ang may, uh, social media bookkeeping. At dahil sa nakakaiba na records or transactions or documentations created by this uh, internet, dapat na cope up natin yan. Kasi ibang-iba yan doon sa traditional way natin na manual. Ibang-iba ito. No? Kaya kung hanapin mo yung traditional na manual dito na ngayon sa uh, mga internet providers, magkaka ano lang tayo yung misunderstanding. No? So what are the legal risks of social media post? No? Ang dami. Kasi una-una nga, hindi mo alam uh, kung sino makapanood ng post mo. No? Uh, kaya nga may mga reminders sa iba uh, Beware what you are posting in the social media Hindi lahat ng tao na tutuwa sa'yo no? Sometimes you are creating uh, jealousy 
you are in generating uh, mga bad na uh, impressions no so hindi lahat tao na mga nakak mga sumusubaybay sa iyo natutuwa sa iyo sometimes nandiyan na yung uh, feeling of greed no feeling of um, parang insecurities nila sometimes trigger a negative negative effect so what are the tools to archive social media marami actually sa email natin pwede tayong mag-archive ha ako ina-archive ko yung mga uh, emails ko na nagka-cut off ako by dates no on by year ngayon because of this tiningnan ko din yung how to to save files sa Facebook meron din po sila doon sa menu punta po kayo doon may nakalagay doon na save gusto mo i-save yung mga pictures mo kung ano yung mga pinost mo sa Facebook you can also save no okay So, yung tools to archive social, social media, tiningnan ko itong Jolly Cloud Me, no? Uh, ito yung may file system siya na uh, yung mga na-upload mo na files, i-archive niya doon and available siya kung sino yung gusto mong mag-access doon, no? Uh, friends, no? Friends siya. So, uh, meron din yung Facebook, Flickr, Instagram, Picasa, and Twitter content no, na pwede mo rin siyang i-save. Uh, no? So, for archiving itong Facebook, punta ka doon sa menu. No? Uh, tsaka doon sa uh, personal, may nakalagay doon na save. No? So, doon mo i-save yung gusto mo na na-post mo sa Facebook. No? Facebook release capability for users to download and archive their own content under their account settings. So for archiving LinkedIn, post and information, social safe, page freezer, and Wayback Machine can be used. Yan, sa LinkedIn naman yan. So there are more archiving tools being developed as the social media market matures. Siyempre, kung baga sa ano yung Uh, although matagal na din naman itong social media but uh, lumobo talaga siya nag multiply talaga siya during the COVID-19 no? because it becomes mandatory for us to live a life in the internet no? dyan, dyan na tayo na mamalengke, nag-order ng pagkain dyan na uh, render our services to our employer dyan na tayo nagtatrabaho So bear in mind that third-party developed tools always carry some risk. That tools directly from the source software or services provider. Information governance consideration for social media. Ano yung information governance? How you manage the information that you create or you post in the social media. And uh, for your information, if you are an online seller, lahat ng mga sales mo naka ano yan doon. Naka um, record sa kung ano man yung ginamit mong platform, no? So, the information governance framework for social media should incorporate social media policy, controls, and operational guidelines, and spell out consequences for violations, no? Kasi, alam nyo na, pag may guidelines, of course, non-compliance to that guidelines may sanction yan, may uh, for the violations, no? may penalties. Best practices for social media are evolving and still being established. No? Kasi nag improve siya everyday. So, pati yung mga uh, best practices niya, nag improve din yan. Or nag i -evolve, no? And they should also include vertical market considerations that are industry-specific. Functional groups within the enterprise should provide input into the policy making process it should be clearly spelled out in the company why para walang ambiguities at walang pagsisisihan later on that's why kung asabi ko we're just starting itong internet natin uh, i i would like to improve no when it comes to uh, archiving and for security purposes kaya nga sabi ko dapat siguro every month talaga nagpapalit ka ng password at the uh, very minimum marketing, finance information, technology, legal, human resources, and records management must be consulted and business unit should be represented. Uh, so, ano tong business unit? Especially in a 
very complicated na na uh, workplace yung malaking malaki na no and they are divided by division pero sa mga maliliit not so much no so enterprises image and brand are at risk and prudent steps must be taken to protect protect this valuable ang sabi pa nga yung mga information mo about your company hindi yan lahat-lahat pinopost no kung tira ka ng uh, naiwan pa para sa company okay most important all legal and regulatory consideration must be folded into the new information governance policy governing the use of social media i for one kasi uh, i am very observant kind of person kahit nung maliit pa ako and uh, alam nyo once na I learned my lessons sa mga nakikita ko nangyayari I always promise myself yun nung pumasok ako sa BAR yung first uh, lessons learned ko doon nakita ko yung isang dating RDO na na-intrap no? na-intrap siya ng uh, NBI kasi nanghingi na pera sa taxpayer no? alam nyo when I look at that person awang-awa ako and I promise to myself hindi mangyayari sa akin yan. Why? Because you already learned lesson from others. So, kasalanan mo yun na hindi mo i-apply or hindi ka mag-take ng mga uh, precautions at hindi ka uh, mag-improve sa mga ginagawa mo sa sarili mo. It's already your fault, no? Okay. And good enough, no? Uh, nung nasa loob naman ako na ng BAR, may mga nakikita ako na mga uh, kasama ko sa BAR, no? Special mga examiners. Umaalis na lang, nag-aawal, hindi nang clear sa BAR. Why? Because may mga kaso sila na nag na nila, hindi na nila kayang bayaran. They just abandoned their work, no? Abandoned their profession. Sinira na nila yung buhay nila, their, yung profession nila. Hindi nila, hindi sila nag-clear accountabilities. That's another promise na ginawa ko rin sa sarili ko. Ano sabi ko? Uh, aalis ako sa BAR na maayos. Aalis ako ng BAR na walang problema. No? Kasi alam nyo, when you make a promise to yourself, especially sa sarili mo, di mo yun makakalimutan. No? Uh, Unang-una na, it's yourself na binigyan mo ng promise. Eh. No? So, Itong social media policy guidelines natin, especially sa mga internet providers natin, we are the ones who, who will craft this no, inside our company or kung maliit lang kayo na organizations. Um, they can be crafted and customized for its organization kasi depende sa laki nyo and uh, depende sa degree ng risk that you are going to tackle. So, a prudent and properly crafted social media policy. Talagang pinag-aaralan yan. And it, it, it must be uh, composed of a, a theme. theme, no? Pagka ginawa nyo. So, outline the types of negative impact on the company's brand and reputation that under screened, poorly considered post may have policy. No? So, lahat ng problema sa i-anticipate natin sa social media dapat na-answer yan ang ating policy. No? That's why we have to craft policies to answer all these uh, problems that we anticipate to um, face no? while uh, we are in the uh, social media. Also, our uh, social media policies should draw clear distinctions between business and personal. Lalo-lalo na po sa BAR, ha, yung uh, business and personal records natin, business and personal expenses natin should be uh, distinguished. No? At saka, i-distinct mo talaga yan. Not that your personal expenses, gagamitin mo din yun sa business expenses mo. Hindi po yun pwede. No? So, use of social media and whether personal access is allowed during the work hours. Kasi, hindi pwede na uh, when we craft our media policy, ano siya, mix, 
with uh, official or business and the personal magulo yun our policy should also underscore the fact that employees should not have any expectation of privacy when using social media for corporate purposes no? just as in using other forms of communication such as email um, you, ito yung mga messaging no? instant messaging and voicemail which may be monitored talagang ako ay have my policies now na yung mga computer wala talagang ano yan wala talagang password yan na hindi ko alam no because uh, alam nyo for the past 4 years pinabayaan ko yan eh up to such time na may nagka problema na saka ko lang na aware na pati ako hindi ako makapasok sa sarili kong mga computers no Pero mo, yung, yung you let one person to manipulate that for you. Those are very, very um, lessons learned that I have. So, clearly state, ito sa ano pa rin to, ha, in crafting media policy, clearly state what is proper and allowed on the organization's behalf and what is forbidden in social media posts or using organization resources. That should be made clear to the employees para na o observe, no? Also, instruct employees to always avoid engaging in company confidential or even controversial discussion. No? Uh, yung sa employees kasi, kung ano man yung uh, confidential na mga nangyayari sa opisina, dapat hanggang opisina lang yan, di, di na dinadala sa bahay. No? Also, strictly forbid the use of profanity, yung mga kabastusan. Ha? And use a professional business tone, albeit more informal than in other corporate communications. Alam nyo, sometimes I'm, I'm also guilty of this. Sometimes nakakapture pa ng camera, no? Especially kung medyo may sinasaway ka o may ano nakikita yun sa expressions ng mukha. Draw clear rules on the use of company name and logo. Hindi lahat, no? pwedeng gumamit ng mga logo at saka mga uh, uh, official records ng company. Why? Because it carries with it responsibility. Mamaya, ginamit yung logo mo. Alam nyo, I have that experience also. Na, I, I, dati, I heard, I have three CPAs, no? Pero I, I let go. Uh, bakit? They use the company uh, telephone, yung the company, lahat-lahat na lang, pati mga services over to client. And then, nung, nung nandiyan na yung uh, client, hindi na nila pinapasok sa company kanila na lang. Gumawa sila ng billing, yung logo ng company yung ginamit nila, pero pinadeposit doon sa sarili nilang account. No? And uh, kamalas-malasan na pa naman, they did not make uh, good with that client, no? Yung pera hindi nila binayad sa kliyente, no? And then, anong nangyari? The client is um, uh, saying na ididemanda ako because of what they did, no? Uh, buti na lang may record sa, ano, sa banko na yung pera na binayad sa client, ng kliyente is pumasok doon sa account nila. No? Sabi ko, hindi naman yun ang aming company account. No? That is staff ah, for, for the, ano. Kaso lang, iyon ko naman na uh, uh, file ang mga cases against the employee. So, uh, alis na lang. Kasi, pagkaganyan na hindi na kayo dapat magsama. Record management considerations for social media. Siguro, I have to be blamed also because I have no clear policy with the employee. No? Kaya communication with your employees are very important. So, records management considerations for social media. So, ano tong record management? Legal requirements and demands trump of all others when making decisions about capturing and preserving social media records. Unang una, it is statutory. It is required by law na yung ating mga records, we have to keep it. And what is the purpose? Because any time of the year, the government uh, will come to you and then see to it that you are paying your uh, correct taxes. And you can all, 
only show it through your books and records. No? Social media is no different from other forms of electronically stored information. Yan ay, yan ay yung bago eh, no? So in that, it is potentially discoverable during litigation. Pag may problema na, you cannot do away with it. That's why, uh, based dun sa mga cases that I read sa transfer pricing, lamang ang kompleto ang records, no? They, they were charged of tax fraud, tax evasion, but uh, when the company show all the records and that all the sales and all the expenses are properly uh, reported, panalo sila pagdating sa korte, no? So, very important talaga. It will save you a lot of trouble pagkakompleto ka ng records. From the record management perspective, it is critical to consider that social media posts are more than the post itself. No? Akala natin nag-post-post lang tayo dyan sa social media, but it's more than the post itself. No? Kasi sometimes, meron niyang legal compliance purposes. No? And then they include metadata. Also include hyperlinks to external content. Ganun siya ka. Eh, akala mo, nilagay mo lang dyan sa Facebook, tapos pinindot mo lang yan, na pinost mo sa public. Ang dami yung mga uh, external content, no? Uh, in its native format, which must also be preserved in a sort of stamp shot fashion, preferably in real time. Ang dami nararating ng pinupost sa social media. That's why it's very important na uh, meron tayong sort of archiving or uh, how to keep it. No? Kaya nga yung tawag dyan, information governance. We have to manage our information. Social media policy will be unique to its particular organization. Of course, kahit na nga yung bookkeeping are also peculiar to the kind of industry that you are in. No? So it is fine to start with a social media policy example or template but it must be tailored to the needs of the organization and, of course, um, legally defensible. And, and, of course, we have to take note dun sa mga mandatory requirements as required by law. Kasi bawat industries, bawat uh, kind of business, kagaya ng social media, may mga unique yan. At saka they are also governed by law na what uh, are the requirements na mandatory po ang record. Records retention guidelines, no? Make records threshold determination. Dito sa Pilipinas, the records that we are going to keep, no? Halimbawa, business transactions natin, without any fraud, hindi tayo nandaya. We have to keep it for 10 years, no? So, yan ang uh, requirement naman ng batas. So, make records threshold determination, no? Examine the records to see if, in fact, constitutes a record by your own organization. Kasi minsan, may magpo-post tapos hindi ina pala para sa organization mo yun. No? Using, di ba daming mga scam sa Facebook na hindi mo naman pala account tapos ginamit ka na na nanghingi na pala ng pera. No? Hinahack pala ang tawag doon. No? So using existing retention schedule if they apply. No? So, if your organization already has retention policies for email, then email sent by social media should adhere to the same scheduling guideline. So, uh, yung sa akin talaga yung email ko, may archiving ako dyan, no? And, uh, na ano ko na yan, may, by categories, sinisave ko na yan by categories. Kaya, uh, yung mga pumasok sa email ko, Nandiyan niya, naka-archive, pero nasa email pa rin. Apply the basic content management principles no, that we learned no, sa school natin, tinuturuan tayo. Meaning, focus on capturing all related content for social media posts that may be required in legal discovery to maintain the completeness, authenticity, and integrity of the records. And the integrity of the records, it is defined by the electronic commerce law. At saka paano mo i-prove that there is an integrity of the records. Huh? Kasi lahat yan na um, ka-record eh, no? naka-link. Risk avoidance in content creation. Instruct and reinforce the message to employees participating in corporate social media that content on the web stays there indefinitely. Diyan yan forever. 
and that it carries potential legal risk. Alam nyo yung may isa talaga ang empleyado doon that I fired, no? nagalit pa yung nanay kasi pinakiusap lang yun ng nanay sa akin. So, tinanggap ko si kagagraduate lang ng IT. Oh my God, siya yung pina-incharge ko doon sa mga uh, post sa Facebook, post sa sa Facebook lang. Y kung ano-anong pinopost niya sa Facebook, my goodness, yung mga tao, iba mga pangalan, no? Iba yung mga din. So, sabi ko, huwag mong gawin sa akin yan kasi ako, I'm very particular na hindi ako mapapahiya. Kasi I'm very particular sa mga kausap ko. Alam yan ng BAR. Alam yan ng mga dati ko ng kasamaan. I'm very particular about it. No? Kaya sabi ko, unang-una naman yung mga nakakilala sa akin, hindi, hindi maniniwala na ginagawa ko yung ganyang klase ng post dito or post lang ng hindi inaalam. No? Kasi I'm very particular of that. Kaya yung mga spelling, mali pa. No? And then, it is really my policy na bago ka mag-post, ipaalam mo sa akin. That is very important. No? Hindi yung post ng post na lang dyan sa social media nang hindi inaalam yan pa pala yung isa na dumamin na yung kasalanan ng ibang employee. Why? Kasi sabi ko, magpo-post ka dyan, no? yung mga information about the BAR, about their internal information. Ang sabi ko, yung BAR nga, sarili nilang information yan. Hindi basta-basta yan pinopost. No? Nagpapaalam pa yan sa commissioner. No? saang level ang approval sa commissioner para yung simple lang na notice to the public or uh, information to the public pwede i-post. Pinapaalam lahat yan sa commissioner. That's how sensitive the information are. Why? Kasi kung hindi mo yan i-control kung ano-anong ilalabas, masisira yung organization mo. At saka hindi lang yun. Minsan din nakakasira sa iba. So there are really potential risk, no? Yun yung tinatawag dito sa sa content management na risk avoidance in content creation. And that's very, very important. No? So we have content control models. So in several basic ways to manage social media content, ito na ha, sa mga social media, although nakikita ko no, sa pin mga pinapanood ko, uh, may mga ano sila eh, yung parang may mga notice sila na, oh, kung hindi kayo, kung sensitive kayo, huwag kayo manood dito. Yung mga ganun, siguro, dahil mga jokes, jokes lang nila yan. But uh, sometimes, da dapat alam din natin yung below the limit. No? And even YouTube, nag-ano yan, eh, nag-strike out. No? May mga rules din ang YouTube dyan. So in several basic ways to manage social media content, ranging from tightly controlling it through one single accountable person, no? Ito, kasi mas advanced sa atin yung US, eh. Sa implemented na sa kanila. To delegating control to the business unit level, all the way to letting the social media participants post their thoughts unmoderated and unfettered, no? To encourage spontaneity and enthusiastic use of the tool. Kaya lahat ng bagay, dapat yan naka- uh, Limit, no? May limit. So, what are the best practices for managing social media records? Ano yung mga best practices? Evolving pa, nag-change pa. And we'll continue to develop as records and information uh, management practitioners gain more experience with social media records. Ano yun? As problem crops up, nakakagawa ng mga policies naman yung ating um, uh, government, ating authorities to regulate. So, nag-evolve pa siya. No? So, siya, kasi ang experience natin it is triggered by the events. No? So, here are some emerging best practices. Cross-functional communication. Yan, ah. Yan ang social media. A social media team of representatives from various departments such as IT, social media, legal compliance, record management, It, it is a team effort. Uh, hindi, hindi isa lang na tao ang gagawa ng uh, policy ng social media. No? 
consultation and policy development, of course, you, you have also the lawyer para alam mo yung requirement ng electronic records. Extending beyond the social media team, input and advice from multiple stakeholder groups is essential for creating IG policies. Also, there should be clear roles and responsibilities dun sa kung sino ma-involve. Oh, Cross-functional social media team must lay out clear expectations and responsibilities and draw lines of accountability so that stakeholders understand what is expected of them. No? Communication talaga is the key. Content management principles. No? So ano ba yung content? No? Kasi uh, kahit sa YouTube lang, regulated yung content mo kung ano yun, nakaspecify na. No? Management of social media content should fall under the Enterprise Content Management, no? ECM. Software implementation which can capture track content, including associated metadata and external content and manage that social media content through its life cycle. So, there should be a clear policy on content management. Okay. Control the content. No? So, hindi lahat ng gusto mo, i-post mo dyan. Clear guidelines and monitoring mechanism must be in place to control and manage content before it gets published on the web. Uh, if there is any potential legal risk at all, all also capture the content in real time. No? So implement a real-time content capture solution. Organizations will begin their control and management of the content solution Organization will begin their control and management of the content at the soonest point. No? Okay. Champion search capabilities. No? After capture and preservation of records, search capabilities are the single most important feature that the technology must provide. Lam nyo pagka properly governed na sa atin yung uh, information governance, ang dami natin matutunan. No? Kasi um, kasama na diyan yung i-evaluate natin yung ating performance. Kasama na diyan yung na uh, uh, improve natin yung content. Ang dami, ang daming lessons learned. Kaya yung sa management of information, so many many lessons learned that can improve your organizations. And then yung importante, train, train, train. Ano yung train, train, train? Social media is a new an immature technology. Ima immature siya, but very powerful. No? That changes rapidly, and bilis, and that's the, the characteristics of the computer age. No? Very swift. Napakabilis. Kaya ang decision-making dito, mabilis din. Ha? Kaya yung mga decision-making, alam nyo, dyan din ako guilty. Kasi paano-ano pa ako yung hold in abeyance, kaya nga sabi ko sa dami ng mga project-projects ko, hindi matapos-tapos kasi gusto ko binibitin-bitin lang. No? It is not the characteristic of the uh, internet. No? Very swift. Talagang tapusin mo talaga yan. No? So users must be trained and the training must be updated and reinforced on a regular basis. No? So training, training, training talaga. And of course, when you train, you must be trained by the expert. No? Kasi kung expert yung nagtuturo sa atin, we can uh, expect a very good result. Okay? So, we have, must have guidelines, understand the technology, and understand the business objective of its use. So, yun, yun po yung uh, how do we bookkeep our uh, records no? sa, sa social media influencers. We have to bear in mind the legal requirements. And sa BIR, ano na yung legal requirements ng BIR? The archiving of the records for 10 years. No? And uh, in my other episode, may dugtong pa to, may connection pa to. Kasi ang social media influencers, may mga um, electronic records yan. No? So, ibigay ko naman sa inyo, explain ko naman sa inyo. What are the requirements of the electronic records? How do we archive them? Yung mga file names, no? Kasi mas, uh, masyado nang mahaba, putol-putulin na natin, no? I learned from yung mga nagba-viral na mga uh, 
content sa YouTube hindi masyadong mahaba no? kasi yung mga live streaming ko tag to 2 hours okay so with that I would like to say thank you very much and as a social media no? yung nasa online tayo nasa internet tayo nandyan na yung buhay natin so we have to live with it and with all the requirements at saka yung risk na inherent sa internet dapat kaya-kaya natin i-take and do something about it. So thank you very much and let's call it a day.